Thanks for tuning in and welcome back to the shop. Today, I'm gonna to take apart the four-wheel drive locking hub on our 2013 Mitsubishi Fuso Canter. This is a pretty basic and easy job to do, really only requiring one or two screwdrivers one Phillips or cross, a flat to help get the snap ring out. You're going to want a bunch of paper towels, some NLGI number one grease, and you may find the cover comes off easier with an impact driver. Disassembly is quite easy. Remove the six screws that hold the cover plate in place, remove the cover plate, pop out the snap ring, and all the pieces come out. These components here are the main components that move in and out when you lock and unlock the hub to attach the axle to the wheel. Now there are a few more parts inside but I won't be digging into those in this video because this is where most of your problems are going to lie. If you are taking the brake drum off you will need to dig a couple more of those out and I will get into those in the video where I take apart the front brakes. For now this is what we're dealing with. There are a number of reasons why you may need to take apart the outer portion of your locking hub. One of the most common is when you try to turn your hub from free to locked and you find you can only go halfway. And that is because somebody at some point has assembled these components in the wrong sequence. Before we put this back together, let's take a quick look at the correct sequence. The return spring is what pushes the driven gear out when you shift out of four wheel drive, you shift the hub out. Return spring, retaining ring, driven gear. Again, this is the key to the whole operation. Shift spring is what pushes this in when you put it into four wheel drive with the hub. Retainer and snap ring. This is the correct sequence. If you flip some of these items or you have them out of rotation, things are not gonna go back together properly. Now that all seems pretty straightforward, so how could someone screw it up, you say? Well, trust me, it's not that hard to screw up. Now that everything's been taken apart, I've cleaned it up and I've put my favorite NLGI number one grease on it, we should be good to put everything back together. Before we start reassembly, you want to take a little smearing of your NLGI one grease and make sure all the splines in here have a little bit on them. This is just to lubricate the system going in and out and as you can see there may not be very much left from the last time somebody had it apart or they may not have put any in there at all. We're not trying to fill these voids we're just trying to lubricate it. Let's see if we can get this to go back together properly. First, big spring. Second, flat washer. Third, driven gear. Fourth, skinny spring. Fifth, funky washer. I should be able to get the retaining clip in. And this is where it all flies apart in your face. There we go. The last step, we're going to put the face plate back on and you're going to put it back into the free position. Even if you took it apart in four wheel drive, it's going to be easier to put back together in free. Now, new gasket on the back. I'm not putting a new gasket on because I'm going to be taking this apart again. But for you, new gasket on the back. What you want to do now, when you have it lined up with free, ideally you can see that this is the, the, the sunken notch that's got to fit behind that tab. But if you can't figure it out, just keep rotating this until it sits perfectly flat. Okay, That spot there, it's sitting nice and flush against the hub. and doesn't do that anywhere else. So right there. 
screws back in. Again, I will be replacing these screws because some of them are a little bit chewed up. But for now, it's a temporary reinstall. These will work. Final torque on these screws is 3.3 foot pounds. I don't think I'm going to bother breaking out the torque wrench. Now we should get movement fully from free back to lock. Nice and easy, nice and smooth, good to go. Not a difficult task to do, but not that hard to get wrong either. If the front end of your truck is not engaging into four-wheel drive properly, take your front hubs apart and make sure that the last person to take them apart, put them back together in the right order. I hope you enjoyed that video and I hope it helps someone. If you did enjoy that video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions on what I did, post a comment down below and I'll do what I can to answer it. If you enjoyed this type of video, take a look at what I've posted before and please subscribe because there's lots more coming. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.